1,982 people are gonna get this ProLine 40th anniversary coin with this limited edition ProLine Axial SCX 10.3. And if you look right down here at the laser etch motor plate, mine is number 10. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you what makes this limited edition anniversary kit so special. And if you can't wait for the end of the video, I'll have a link in the video description for you. I suggest you jump on it because people are really going to want this collectible truck. And I'm actually gonna take this thing out driving as well. Yes, it's gonna get dirty. So do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. All right, let's take a closer look at this beautiful Chevrolet K10. So the significance of this licensed Chevrolet K10 step side is that it is a 1982 model, the year ProLine was founded. So that's why this is a 40th anniversary limited edition kit. And this body is absolutely beautiful. Comes painted and detailed from the factory. We even have the 1982 logo on the side, the ProLine logo, and then these beautiful chrome Silverado decals. Up front, the chrome grill is a separate piece with LED lights behind it, clear lenses. There's also a chrome bumper with LED lights then let me spin the truck around so you can see the rear bumper custom license plate and then the tail lights are chrome pieces with a decal on them these don't light up however just the front lights chrome mirrors and you probably already noticed there are body clips that would have set it over the top if they got rid of the body clips so that's my only complaint of this entire kit my truck got actually crushed during shipping the box was crushed so I've got a little bit of damage here no complaints to the shipping company either I know those guys work really hard all right let's pop the body off and take a look at the chassis. Here's the SCX 10.3 chassis. Probably looks really familiar if you're an Axial fan, and it's actually much like the base camp. Metal frame rails, metal pan hard bar mount, composite shock towers, two locations to mount the battery, closed receiver box, room to go and add uh, aftermarket servos if you wanna go put a winch servo up front. Let's get into some of the changes though. The Proline shocks, you probably noticed that right off the bat. These are the big board Pro Scaler shocks, and I love these shocks. I have these on a number of my crawlers. They work really well, nice and soft, no leaking issues, three link in the front and four link in the rear. These are the smaller diameter metal links, but they are metal links and we do have metal ball studs in the ball ends, metal links for the steering as well. Let's move on to the drivetrain now. Again, the LCXU transmission with all metal gears, but the big deal here is this aluminum motor plate. It's got the Proline 40th anniversary logo on there. And then it tells you what number this particular kit is, as you can see, Mine is number 10 of 1,982. Really psyched about that. That's a good number, right? As you can see, it's also a portal axle kit. The AR45P axles, metal internals, steel drive shafts, of course, ball bearings and universals up front. And then mounted to each corner are these Proline Class 1 G8 tires. I absolutely love these tires. Lots of people love these tires. And they're mounted to these 1.9 rock shooter wheels. These look really good. Aluminum face on one side, composite plastic on the other side. Now let's take a quick look at the electronics. First up, just wanted to show you guys the LED lights mounted in the front bumper. Then we have a 614 servo from Spectrum for steering. Back here, the Spectrum 40 amp speed controller for brush use. It is compatible with LiPo batteries, fit with an IC3 plug, and then the 35 turn dynamite motor. Inside the receiver box is a Spectrum 315 receiver and a Spectrum radio to go with it, the SLT3. They do give you AA batteries and a couple extra plastic pieces and some hardware to go along with it and an instruction manual of course but this pro line body that they developed for this anniversary kit looks absolutely fantastic let's get this thing together and we'll just go out for some casual trail driving because i don't want to scratch this thing up anymore it looks too good it's another awesome day for crawling can't wait to drive this k10 This will be a nice easy climb for the three. It does look good. It's kind of amazing what a good set of tires will do for a ready to run. You throw these Hyrax tires on anything and it'll grip. Love the way these Proline big bore shocks work. So smooth and it just lets the truck float over the rocks.
let's go through this pit here. See if we get up this really steep incline. There we go. Nailed it. Easy. I'm gonna hit this descent here, and every crawl I br almost every crawl I bring here catches the bumper on the rock. Oh, nice! Sounds like we cleared it. A little scrape on the uh, rear bumper. Let's navigate this transition right here, which requires a lot of steering. I did notice that the Hyrax tires do catch the body once in a while. Not too big of a deal. Look at that, tons of steering right through, nice and smooth. I gotta tell you, I'm really excited that Axial Racing and Proline finally got together for a collaboration and they truly created something special here. I think square body fans are going to love this truck. It looks really good out there on the rocks. A lot of fun to drive, so much more capable with these Hyrax tires and the nice soft suspension thanks to the big bore shocks. There is a little bit of body rattle. Uh, it does catch on the tires here and there. The other things I have to let you know about are the tires aren't vented from the factory. And actually, since they cinch it down inside the box so it doesn't move, uh, it does actually let some of the air out. So if you if you pick one of these up, notice the tire wobbling, you may have to vent your tires. Uh, the other thing I noticed, my gear mesh was a little bit too tight for my liking. So I just readjusted the pinion and spur mesh. Everything else was fine. Lots of steering, plenty of power. Uh, actually, I didn't mind the ready to run electronics in here. I, I thought the steering was just fine for the general trailing that I was doing with this. And it had plenty of speed with the 3S battery pack. Oh, it's got a little bit of that lean to it too from uh, the, the soft shocks. But what I did was I ran a short pack on the floor pan and it levels the truck out. I added a little bit of preload as well. But this is just a really cool looking truck. If you've been thinking about adding a cool crawler to your collection, I would jump on one of these.